Hey, Shalom. Our praises to you, how about Shem? How was Shai? How about Shem? Hey, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you believers that's out there, and all you men um, that understand who you are, that are um, convicted in these times. Um, shalom to you. Uh, basically, what I want to do is uh, just go over a couple things. Uh, like the Lord said, um, being able to uh, understand the Lord in this time is very important because if you understand the Lord, then you understand what the order of the, of, of the spirit, the order of the spirit is loving the Lord with all your heart and then love your brother as you as you love yourself. These are the two main commandments. So by guys not understanding the scriptures, they have broken those two laws. They have broken those laws because they did, they're not putting your house shy first. So by default, when you um, when you go to the scriptures, you you are not putting your house shy first because what you're doing is. You're putting um, these prophecies and what men say. That's why. That's why the Lord said in Matthew 15, uh, men say th the Lord is in their heart, but guys are teaching the commandments and the doctrines of men. That's what guys are doing. They're not putting your house shy first, because when you when you obey the first two laws, this is you uh, following the order of your house shy and. Um, understanding what Moses told you to do. Um, so the first, the first law is loving the Lord with all your heart, and then the second law is loving your brother. So what guys are doing, they're breaking these laws. They're teaching their own doctrine. You see, so guys are not even nowhere close to the spirit. Uh, Mark twelve and. Uh, 28 it says one of the scribes came having heard their reason together and perceiving that he had answered them well and asked him which is the first commandment of all so this is heavy in this time because the first commandment is to love the lord so the lord is going to actually come first that's why guys that's rejecting the new covenant they don't understand the order of the spirit so for you rejecting the new covenant you have to repent to it. You're not waiting to enter in. There's no scripture in there where the Lord said you have to wait to enter into a covenant. There's no scripture in there where the Lord says you need a new body. There's no scriptures in there. So the, the first commandment is to love your house shy. So if you love your house shy, like he said in John 14, you'll do what he said to do. So by how guys are adding to the scriptures and not following the new covenant and they say it's a demon and all these things, they do not love the Lord. Therefore, they don't even love themselves. So how can they love somebody else? It's crazy. Mark 12. So you have to follow what the Lord says in order for you to be in the spirit. Just just teaching a bunch of prophecies that don't that don't make you in the spirit. Prophecies don't profit unbelievers man you could be an unbeliever teaching prophecies <laughs> it's crazy mark chapter 12 verse 29 and yahweh shall answer them he says the first of all commandments here O israel the lord our power is one power and thou shalt love the lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thine soul and with all thine mind and with all thy strength this is the first commandment. And I think it, it tells you in Sharak that um, you can never go far enough in exalting the Lord. Yeah, I think it's in uh, you can never go far enough. Matter of fact, let me see if I could grab that real quick. So what we're saying is, guys, is is uh, is breaking the scriptures, man, they're not following the scriptures at all. That's why you have to separate yourself. Guys don't have love in their heart. 
They don't have you how a shy in their heart. So this is what you got to understand. Yeah, here it is. Sirach 43 and 30. It says, when you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, that's who you're supposed to be exalting. The Lord. Put forth all your strength and be not weary for ye can never go far enough. So you have to put all your strength into exalting the Lord. This is the first commandment. He says, when you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can for yet, even yet, when he far exceed, when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary for ye can never go far enough. So as you can never go far enough. Uh, exalting your house shy. So there is no uh, limit on how much you can. Um, exalt Yahweh Shai because by you teaching him right the other ones that are of the Lord they understand by by understanding him they need to repent so by guys not understanding the Lord not knowing the Lord what are they doing they're teaching prophecies and the shit of the world they're putting that over exalting the Lord that's why prophecies ain't going to prophesy it's not going to benefit you all you unbelievers. Matter of fact, let me read this. So, Rec 24 and 32. I will yet make doctrine sign as the morning, and I will send forth her light afar off. So, Yahweh Shai's doctrine is shining in this time. That's why the scripture tell you that he spoke in his doctrine. And a lot of guys, they're teaching the, the doctrine of the of the camps, which that's not the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. You have to repent unto Yahweh Shai. Now, those that are not able to put the Lord first and honor and exalt Yahweh Shai first. Uh, they're of the world and they don't know the Lord. Matter of fact, before I read that, let me read this real quick. First Corinthians 14 and 22, because this is what the scriptures say. 1 Corinthians 14, 22, wherefore tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth for them that believe. It says, let me read this again. But prophesying serveth not, prof, but prophesying serveth not for them that believeth not, but for them which believe. Right? So guys that, that are not honoring you, how shy that don't believe in the covenant the prophecies ain't going to benefit them actually the prophecies are against guys so it's unproductive to be waiting on the covenant if you're not repenting all the prophecies you're teaching it doesn't it doesn't profit you it says but prophesying serves not for them that believe of not that's why the lord said all the unbelievers and all the all the fucking liars and all these guys, they gonna have they they place in the lake of fire because they don't understand Yahweh Shai. This is what you gotta understand. This is what's going on in this time, and it's very easy to see the deception at this point. To 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 look at it at this point, if you're still in these camps, and a lot of you guys, um, they can't really get it, and the few elect that's that, that's going to come out at this point, the the truth is actually out there. So if you're of the world, you hear this truth and you stay in these camps, that means you're of the world. Because the first commandment is to love the Lord with all thy heart. So if you love the Lord, you'll do what he said to do. That's what he said. So by guys that don't have the Lord or don't know the Lord, they don't they don't know, they don't love the Lord. Therefore, they're not exalting him in his covenant. If you love the Lord, you'll be exalting his, him in his covenant. And the Lord said, hey, if you don't have the son, then you don't have the father. This is the only doctrine that's worth being taught in these times because it helps the elect uh, repent. So if you're not helping the elect repent, you cannot help the elect by just teaching prophecies. So Mark 12 
and 31. And the second is like it, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And there is none other commandment greater than these. There is no other commandment greater than these. So like, if you're not teaching your how shy, and it takes you to have love to teach your how shy, it teaches you to have that new heart. You have to have that heart. That's why I always refer to that that first Captain America movie. The one Captain America, he had that heart, and that other guy, the Red Skull head guy, he didn't have a good heart. When he took that super soldier serum, his ass turned wicked. And that's what we see in these times. The hearts of many guys have been turned fucking wicked. Guys' hearts have been darkened. Instead of these scriptures doing something good for them, what's happened is these uh, scriptures have darkened men's hearts because they're going after things of the world. Therefore, that that they can't that will not allow guys to honor Yahweh Shai and to honor his covenant because guys' hearts are dark. They don't have new hearts. So they'll tell you you have to wait on something. And so what that means is right now they're not under God at all. They're not even under Moses. So prophecies don't 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 serve prophecy serve not for guys that, that are unbelievers. Actually, these prophecies are against them, just like this prophecy of the third temple being taught is against guys because guys are of the world. They're not a part of the third temple. They're a part of the world. And it's very easy to see. Romans 11 and 10, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back away. They bow down their back away. So this is prophecy that guys eyes have been darkened. You guys really don't have no understanding. You see, Romans are one and twenty one, because that when they knew the power, they glorified him not as power. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Like a lot of guys hearts been darkened. So this is the reason why guys don't love the Lord and they're not doing what the Lord say, because guys hearts are darkened. While we have light shining out of our hearts, guys, our hearts are filled with darkness. Ephesians 4 and 18, it says, having the understanding darkened, Ephesians 4. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to go up. Ephesians 4 and 12, and this is what's happening right now. The perfecting of the saints. And you perfect the saints. You help perfect the saints by glorifying Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord said in the Acts, it is better to give than to receive. It is better to give than, and, than to receive. So the perfecting of the saints, that's why the Lord told Peter to feed his sheep three times. Because by you teaching Yahweh Shai, that's helping perfecting uh, the, the election. It may not seem like it, but the elect are repenting and they are hearing the words that they need to hear to repent. Ephesians 4, 12, it says for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of the anointed. And this is the new body. The new body is the third temple of Yahweh Shai, which is only the temple of the elect. That's why the brother, he was going into the pillars, the, the stones. The lively stones were all were all pillars of this third temple. We're all stones adding to the body in the house of Yahweh Shai. This is the new body, the third temple. And you become immortal when you understand you. You, you are immortal when you understand Yahweh Shai. When you when you know Yahweh Shai, that gives you eternal life. Eternal means forever you will know Yahweh Shai. So what we're seeing is very clearly that a lot of guys don't know the Lord and you have to separate yourself. You may know the Lord and the rest of the whole fucking camp might not know the Lord. You have to separate yourself. That's how it is. The Lord said he chose one man out of a thousand. It's literally like that in this time. Ephesians 4 and 12 for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of the church. Till we all come 
in the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the son of power unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahushua Mashiach till we basically become grown-ups in the spirit like a lot of guys they're not even in the spirit to, to actually grow in it so going back to those first two commandments my guys not glorifying Yahweh Shai. They're not even following the new covenant at all. They're not even following the Bible. The Lord said he wrote in the volume of the book. So these guys, they're not even following the volume of the book. It is very heavy, but this is exactly what guys are doing. So when you explain this, and when you explain this, and when you tell people, and when we do these lessons, this is for men so they can understand what's really happening. Guys can teach all the prophecies you want. It, it's not going to serve. Prophecy service not for them that don't believe. I don't believe the covenant is here. So prophecies, it don't help you. It don't help you or nobody around you, motherfuckers. Just knowing prophecies. That ain't what the Lord told you to do. The first two commandments was to love the Lord. So by guys not honoring Yahweh Shai, that means that they're not of the Lord. And the, the Lord tells you too. He said a prophet is without, without honor in his own country. So guys getting all this double honor and, and, and how Shai didn't get any honor. You're you're totally, you're putting these men over Yahweh Shai. That's what you're doing. The Lord said he didn't receive honor of men. Ephesians 4, 13, till we come... In the unity of faith and the, of the knowledge of the son of power unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So by the perfecting of the saints, by us teaching, we are able to help the body become perfect unto that full stature of Yahweh Shai. It says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro carry about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men. And that's what guys are. Guys are tossed to and fro in these camps following the doctrines of men. It says, by the slight of men, cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Right, so if you're in these camps, you're being deceived. But that's why the Lord said the, the, the deceiver and the deceived are his. So if the Lord don't allow you to actually see what's going on and open your heart up in your mind, that means you were meant to be deceived in this time. It says, from whom the whole body fitly joined together, compacted that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working of the measure of every part and make up increase of the body into the edifying of itself in love. Right. So these guys, they don't have any love in their hearts. Because if they did, they will be following what the Lord said, let alone they're not even following Moses. So these guys are not in the spirit. That's why they just teach. That's why they talk about prophecies. And you have to understand because it's being made clear uh, who's following the Lord and who's not. The world is not following the Lord. The Lord in John chapter 17, he only prayed for his elect. And the Lord said, if you love him, you're going to feed his sheep. And the Lord said, he that love me, he going to follow my words. Ephesians 4, 17. This I say, therefore, testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as the the gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind that's how guys are walking they're walking in the vanity of their mind they're not they're not um they're not walking in your they're walking in the world they're walking with this world it says this i say therefore testify in the lord that ye henceforth not not walk as other gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of power due to ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Right. So these guys, they're blind. Um, in these camps, they're blind, they're spiritually dead. And just like the prayer with David, this the scripture said, let this table be kind of come a snare unto them. And that's what has happened. This. What has happened is this truth and these scriptures trap these guys. So they, they're they're trapped teaching false doctrine because they don't have any understanding. It's heavy. So in this time, it is better to give than to receive for the re, for the perfecting of the church. 
And many, many men's hearts have been darkened. So that's why guys are so carnal, because their hearts have been darkened. Um, because of their dark souls, their dark heart. So, so it's really heavy, man. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. I have showed you all things. So this is what Yahweh Shai did. He has showed unto certain men certain things. He said, I showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak. Right? So by us laboring, that's why the Lord told Peter to feed his sheep, we're able to support the weak. And to remember the words of, uh, of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, how he said, it is more blessed to give than receive it is more blessed to give than to receive and that's why we do these lessons because by us uh teaching and uh having men helping men understand yahweh shy that's what makes us blessed by us giving that's why the man of the lord us brother we're not lacking in anything why because we we are uh set up to help uh have men Help men to understand Yahweh Shai, giving men understanding. In terms, what the Lord does, He He provides for us too. But a lot of guys they've already received that consolation, so it is more blessed to give than to than to receive. But what's happening in these camps? What are they doing? They're they're taking. They take. They take. They take. You see. Ephesians 5 and 14, it says, Well, for he said, Awake thou that sleepeth. And that's what's happening. Uh, men are awaking out of the sleep of these camps to, unto Yahweh Shai. That is the main thing that you should be understanding. Understanding Yahweh Shai. And arise from the dead, right? These camps are dead. And the anointed shall give thee light. That's right. So when you come out of the world, out of the dead world, then you can receive the light of Yahweh Shai. <sighs> Ephesians 1 and 17, it says that the power of our Lord, uh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him right so in this time we're being revealed the knowledge of Yahweh Shai and it is, it is on us to give unto those to help the elect for the perfection of the body of Yahweh Shai so with that man I'll speak with you brothers a little bit later continue to repent repent and uh, I'll speak with you brothers on the next one hey Shalom
Pleasant out, Pluto. Pleasant out, Pluto.